Konnichiwa YouTubers, this is Red Stock Straight from Point Magu, California. Today we're going to do a video review of Figuarts Zero. This is from Aquarian Evol, Zessica Wong. And it is pronounced Zessica. I'm looking at the Japanese and it says Zessica. So, hey, it's with a Z. Alright, so a nice little pink background. It's a Figuarts Zero. This is a new little series or brand. I know it came out like two years ago, Figuarts Zero. And it's a little it's cheaper uh, you can tell the plastics a little cheaper made so here's the side of the fit box easy to collect and cute style yeah it, it is a little easy to collect if you don't if you don't mind this it's way cheaper than the PVC that you're used to so that's one thing you want to check that out so that's a top of the box figure art zero and that's what it says here figure art zero easy to collect and cute style bottom of the box so let's look at the figure itself there's good old Jessica Wong, and I'm just going to do this. Uh, I put it on the stand because it's easier. And by the way, the stand says that all. Oh, Jessica. Uh, I don't know what Aquarian Evol is, but let me just go ahead and just rotate so you can see the figure and it's a uh, glory. And one thing is, you can tell it is made from cheaper plastic. And that's one thing I really am not digging. There's other little extras here that you can tell. And I'll show you. The paint apps aren't that great either, so that... So that's one thing that's bringing it down. I don't know if it's this initial first batch, but the paint, the painting is good, especially for the eyes and the green. Um, typical anime looking. Uh, see the I'm talking like the little white splotches on his cuffs. Uh, see, I do like the yellow here. What are the things we have that? A little, little cross action here, but it does seem like soft plastic. It's not. Looks like soft vinyl rather than PVC. A little butt crack action here. So. And as far as I know, the clothes aren't cast offable. Uh, you can see it, it, how the overspray on the black and the white here. So it's supposed to be white on black, but I don't know. I like the little striping here. Decent detail, but nothing to get excited about. It's, you can tell it's definitely a cheaper line. Uh, a fairly big figure. So it's about six and a half inches. And I'm glad I have this little ruler over here because now you can tell. Yeah, so yeah. Yeah, about six and a half, six and almost six and a half. So I like the stand because now I can zero out my ruler. As far as uh, size comparisons go, there, there she is with my boy Megatron. Okay, so a little bit taller, and I want to put her with Samus. So that's a more of a six-inch figure. So you can tell it's just slightly bigger than a typical six-inch figure. Uh, it is what it is. It's nothing special. I'm not gonna lie to you. Nothing special, nothing I'm going to go ahead and get extremely, I'm going to make out and buy. So if you like these kind of figures, that's awesome. Uh, it's cheaper, and I mean, it's really cheap. You can get them for like 20 bucks now. Nothing special. I like the green hair, I like the bow, but other than that, I got to tell you, save your money for the real thing, for the real PVC. Yeah, they'll probably cost 60, 70, 80 bucks, but it's well worth it. Six and a half inches, probably, I don't know, that's just like 112th scale or even one-tenth scale. All right, YouTubers, that's all I got, and I catch you all next time.